We got breaking news, everyone. Breaking news. <laughs> breaking news. I didn't do the teaser for the Nicole and Craig show, so here we are, and I hope people are watching. You didn't? No, I didn't. Oh, my Oops. goodness. Oh, my Sorry. goodness. All right, well, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Nicole and Craig show. I'm, of course, Nicole, and this over here is also Nicole. Yes, I am Nicole, yes. She always has, to, always has to be right, doesn't she? <laughs> All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. We just came back from sunny Las Vegas for our annual convention with Berkshire Hathaway. And that's what our show is going to be about today. It's going to be the top five reasons why you should go to your corporate, like if you, if you belong to a franchise and they are doing one of those annual conventions, you need to go. Yes, right? absolutely. Do you agree? I do. Yeah. I don't, that was my first time. I didn't go last year, so this is my, actually my first time going to the Berkshire one. And I had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. I, I don't know. I hope you guys caught the zip lining one that we did. That was fun. That was a impromptu. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, yeah, we didn't plan that. We just did that. It was fun. I'll share that to my page later. Okay, awesome, yeah. awesome. All right, well, let's get on the list so we can get you guys out of here on a Friday. You can go do whatever else you need to do because I'm sure everyone's watching us live right now. I know, right? Hi, hey, Colleen. Colleen Hi, Jen. How are you guys doing? All right, all right. <laughs> See, some people are watching. All right. All right, so number five, <coughs> one, whenever you go to a, hey, Colleen, whenever you do one of those great conventions or whatever, it's almost like it recharges your batteries. You know, yes. salespeople, it's, you know, we, we're, we're going a lot, and it's like one of these times where you just get to kind of unwind, decompress a little bit, learn some great stuff, recharge your batteries. Yeah, I think it's really motivational because there's other people there um, that, you know, are within the same franchise, they're from different areas networking, talking, um, you know, sharing ideas, things like that. Um, definitely beneficial with that. Number six, nationwide networking opportunities. <laughs> that was, I added that in. was on our list. Yeah, uh -huh. I just forgot it. <laughs> All right, number four. Um, this one's kind of, okay, the entertainment stuff. What did, what did we get to see there? We got to see Cher and Elton John, and I think it was the real Cher and Elton John. There is, you know, people that think it's not. Well... The next day, there was Michael Jackson and who's the other one the next day? Okay. Tina Turner, Michael Jackson. Oh, well, you know, we know Michael one. Jackson wasn't real. What? Yeah, Michael Jackson wasn't real. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, okay. Looked pretty real to me. Uh-huh. Uh, it was kind of funny because they would build in like... They would build in like awards lingo into the lyrics of the real song, like so instead of beat it, like, oh, beat yeah, it, they did. you they can did. be the top one hundred. Yeah, sure. Like, yeah. it was kind of funny. Like that was that was funny. So maybe they weren't real. I'm just pretending like they were. Whatever. I'm pretty sure they were real. But anyway, it was nice because we had a general session in the morning, and it was all about entertainment and like giving awards to people and whatnot. So like you could be like, hey, I could be on that stage someday, right? Yeah. So that was kind of cool. That was awesome. It was awesome. Another way you can get on stage too is get a job at the casino and you can just work there and, you know, <laughs> hold lights or something. Uh-huh, yeah. Or just get, a bit, you know, sell a bunch of property and be a uh, top be an award winner. winner. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. I feel like that's going nowhere. Let's just go straight to number three. Number three, we're going straight to... What Cor is this? Corporate vision. Oh, corporate vision. Yes. You know, I really enjoyed that. That was in our first day. The first, you know, the CEO of the company comes out there and basically... There's a lot, of, a lot of companies right now that are pivoting towards tech and stuff like that. And he comes out very clearly and says, you know what, we're not doing that. For, since the beginning of, of our whole corporate background, we've only bought and sold property. We help buyers and sellers do that. We're not, we're not trying to have the best technology and all that kind of stuff. We want to expose the property as well and things like that. But um, you know, it was good to hear that, hey, you know what, we're a real estate sales company. We're not a tech company. We're not a training company, we're not any other kind of company. We're a real estate sales company, and that's our core belief. And it's good, I think, to hear that corporate vision to, to ring true. Yeah, especially when, especially from people higher up in the company, and it helps keep you connected to the company too, I think, yeah. with the whole corporate vision portion. Very cool, very sure. cool. Number two, learning opportunities. Now this, this one surprises me every year because I've had a ton of training in real estate, I know you have too. Mm -hmm. But I can't help but go to one of these things. They had some of these classes, even the first day, were phenomenal. You know, just team building stuff, recruiting, um, you know, sales on, on using even technology stuff. Just because they said we're not a tech company doesn't mean they, you know, tech's not important. You know, there's better, we're going to learn the best ways to expose our properties for our buyers and sellers and things like that. What, yeah. what other learning stuff do you think? I think my, I was pleasantly surprised. We had a lot of team, team, um, learning classes, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I think for me, that was a big thing because a lot of times you don't see that. So I think it was nice to see that on the roster. 
Um, you know, and then we took a Marky Lemons class. Well, I did. I didn't go and I did. Oh, I love Marky. Um, she's the best. Yeah. So, she no, teaches. Amanda and I did. Um, so that was, she's very informative, especially about Instagram and Facebook and how to do everything, you know, for minimal cost. So that was a really great class. So I think no matter how long you've been in the business, you can always learn something from, um, from the also vendors too. You know, there may be a vendor that you, there's an expo there and you know, there may be a vendor that you don't know about or technology that you're not, you know, you're not familiar with. You can learn that as well. Definitely. And if you like Nicole, she loves free pens. So she <laughs> yeah. came back, she had like, she I had to get a separate like, suitcase. She had to FedEx it back to the house because she had so many pens. It was it's crazy. True. It's, it's true. ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Should we go to the number one? Is that, is that we're going to go straight to the number one? Number one. Point? I think hands down, this is number one. You get to make memories with the people that you work with. And this was, this was fantastic. I mean, these, we've got some awesome agents at our office. I know you guys do too at your office. But just to be in, in a different atmosphere with them and just to go out and have a lot of fun. This, this one was actually in Vegas, so it was, it was crazy. Vegas is a lot of fun. There's never a dull moment in Vegas if you yeah. haven't been there. Um, but it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. Um, I think we gambled. Of, yeah, out of all the... A little, the, but not much. Yeah, not really. Um, I didn't gamble. I donated money to the casinos. <laughs> For me, like I know Craig a lot, and there's a couple other people I know, but there were definitely people on the trip that I didn't know at all, um, and so it was interesting to meet and you know get along with some other personalities from the office, and then especially because we have a separate office, right? So I don't get to see a lot of the newer agents that come in the office, so it was kind of nice, um, and for them to also get to know me, so you know I'm sure if they need something they'll reach out. So it was kind of nice just to have some inner office team building a little bit with agents you don't normally work with. Yeah, it was great. And Northwest Indiana, we don't have the greatest uh, selection of restaurants and stuff unless we go up to Chicago. So it's kind of cool to have a bunch of great restaurants right next to each other and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. Yep. A lot of fun. A lot of cool stuff. I felt like there was one other thing. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Mm, franchise fee. If you're in a franchise, you're probably paying a franchise fee. So yeah. take advantage of that. You know, the franchise, they put a lot of money into these shows. <coughs> and, you know, there was crazy one night. It was, it was actually cold, but... You know, they had mermaids swimming in a pool. Oh, they had yeah, LED. They did. Like, they had this violinist well, that was all cool. lit up with LEDs and a LED drum core, and it was, like, all neon lights. It was... You would only see stuff like that in Vegas or at some yeah. big big show. Or it was, like, like, Blue Man Group, but not Blue Man Group, you know? Right, yeah. It was, like, Drum Man Group. But I think it's cool because you get... <laughs> drum Man Group. Oh, God. I'm going to let that go. All right. Yeah, I must have missed that because I was on my next thought. But yeah, I mean, it was just, it was nice to be, like I said, in a different setting. Like Las Vegas, you're going to see all kinds of different crazy things. But, um, you know, overall, I think that was, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. And then Colleen's asking about vendors. Yeah, a lot of the vendors that go to like the NAR conference and, you know, any of the other big conferences um, like Zillow, you know, a lot of lead, lead engines are there. A lot of you know there's CRMs yes, technology CR, uh, stuff marketing stuff. I mean like anything you could think of lenders were there like anything you could think of um, that networking piece is pretty yeah. key and we had a private Gwen Stefani concert that was awesome that was that was cool. really cool yeah that was yeah. really good um, except for there's one great restaurant in North Virginia, and that's San Fratello's Pizza and Dyer true it's probably my favorite me too right go there every friday every friday they, actually they have the best tomato bread in northwest indiana i can tell you that too uh-huh and the I pizza's agree. pretty extremely awesome as well yes all right is that your good plug there jen i hope you can give us a <laughs> thumbs up now. all right anyway thanks everyone and uh you know have see you fun next getting week. back to work we'll see you next week bye nicole will be on time next week too oh craig craig oh finish